Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to be doing a video on how to get a working bash terminal in Windows. Um, as you can see, this is a fully working bash terminal, and it has a scroll function over here, as you can see. Um, uh, if I hit, or if not hit, type help, it'll show you all, the, it um, shows all the command stuff. Um, for example, like, ls or I believe you can also do list nope you can't but um, ls just like lists all the directories and file or files and directories in the current directory um, and it starts out in whatever directory you launch the dot bat file from which I'll talk to talk about that later um, so yeah this is a fully working bass terminal for all you Linux fans out there, and Mac OS, Mac OS X fans out there too, because Mac OS X uses Bash, I believe. All right, let's get out of that. Um, to get this, just open up your internet browser. I use Google. Um, and then I believe it's Win, yeah, it's Win Dash Bash dot source forge dot net like that just scroll down and hit download here alright now it'll take you to um, this project source forge source forge sorry I'm having a little issue pronouncing words today um, there's a readme.txt which you can read if you want uh, but I'm not going to download that, hopefully. Um, and then there's this uh, zip file here, shell.win32-ix86.zip. Uh, just click on that, and it'll download. Now, I already have it downloaded, so I'm just going to X this out real quick. Alright, now once it's downloaded, uh, you're going to want to find it. And me, I have mine downloaded to my downloads folder. Uh, some of you have your things set up to not download to there. And let me see if I can't find it. Uh, what was it even called? I can't remember. Um, ah, here. Shell.win32-ix86. Just, like, right-click that, and, like, if you have WinRAR installed, just hit, like, extract here, extract files, or whatever you want to do. Um and then it should extract into a folder that looks like this without the parentheses one of course and inside that will be all these files um... yeah now to start the bleh sorry to start the actual bass terminal um... hit start shell double click it uh... you can get rid of that if you want i'm just gonna leave it on for now because i'm gonna be deleting all this later because i already have it installed um, hit run, and as you can see, this is a fully working bash terminal, and my mouse is being a dick. Alright, um, yeah, ls. And you've got your, I don't believe there works. Nope. Alright, so that is how you find, sorry, that is how you get bash on Windows 7. And you're probably looking at my computer screen saying, that's not Windows 7, that's Mac OS XX. I just said Mac OS XX. Well, obviously it's Windows. 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 Alright. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And I'm just going to say to all of you that, you know... Like, for all you Linux and Mac geeks out there uh, that love Bash, um, at least compared to Windows, I mean, like, look at this. Bash Windows CMD.exe. You got this. You got this, right? Actually, you know what? I want to save that for another video. I'm going to do a comparison video between the two. That's a good idea. I'll probably do that later on tonight while I'm on the, like, idea of it. Yeah, why? That's weird. 
it won't let me like select and stuff. It's probably because of Rocket Dog. Um, yeah. And I, I might do a a walkthrough of how to get my Mac OS X theme here going on. And I have Pear OS. That's just because I have it on my other computer, and I really like the project. But it was bought out and stuff. I'm getting really far off topic. I'm gonna stop the video right now because I, I, if I don't, I'll just keep blabbering on. Um, all right. I hope you enjoy your Bass Terminal. And this has been Endergreen, and I will say goodbye now. Bye!